Welcome to the American Association with Brown on this Tuesday night. Bunch of new series getting underway. Let's start the highlights in Kansas City. Double header between the Explorers and Monarchs. Short and sweet for game one. What a start from Julian Garcia. He goes all seven innings, seven strikeouts, allows just four hits, and he gets some help on offense from the all-star Herbert Iser. He goes deep here. Monarchs cruise to a 4 nothing win in game one, but game two, different story. Kansas City had a strong lead, but a five run fifth inning gives the Explorers the edge. Zach Vuletic gives them the lead here. Then in the sixth, tied at seven, Ozzy Martinez hits it off the knuckles to give them the lead. Sioux City wins eight to seven to Kane County. Cougars staying home to welcome in the Milkman and Willie Escala fighting through the rain to blast this one out, a two run shot. And later on, Jose Sermo joins in the fun. Those will be the two run scoring swings on the night. Milwaukee takes the opener three to nothing. Speaking of two big swings, Ryan Hernandez putting on a show in Sioux Falls, a two run shot right away in the first to give Lake Country the lead. And later on in the eighth, how about another? He's up to 24 home runs on the season, four up in first place in the league. Lake Country wins eight to three to Fargo. What a game here. Another game where the Railcats took a lead. They were up four nothing, but Alec Oland brings Fargo Moorhead within one in the ninth. And then Marcus Chu steps up, base is loaded. The chopper gets through into left field and it's a walk off two run single for Marcus Chu. Fargo Moorhead takes the opener five to four. Two Lincoln Salt Dogs welcoming in the gold dies. Lincoln had the lead in this one, but a three run eighth would bring Winnipeg back. Rob Emery drives home two there with that single. And then Edwin Royal steps up and brings Emery home to give the gold dies the lead. They would hang on and win five to four. Finally to Cleburne, Railroaders welcoming in the dogs. This was a thriller of a game, but Shed Long in the seventh ties the game at nine with this two run triple. We go to the bottom of the ninth, tied at 10. Corey Holland grounds it and the throw gets away. Cleburne walks off a thriller by an 11 to 10 final. Here's your schedule for Wednesday night. It gets underway at 6.30 in Kane County, 6.35 in Kansas City and Sioux Falls, 7.02 in Fargo, 7.05 in Lincoln, and 7.06 in Cleburne. You can catch all the games and whip rounds this week for free at aabaseball.tv. I'm Matt Yazel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night.